Hey, what the hell's going on, you guys? It is Stupid Player Negative AE, and welcome back to Valhalla. Last we left off, we had just done prologue number one. We're on day two now. Um, yeah, let's go. Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? No. Cheer up. No. That attitude won't make things easier for yourself. Serving dogs won't ease things either. Have you heard anything from Gil? Nope, but he should be having fun wherever he is. Also, did you know we had darts? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because that's the kind of stuff you should just assume. A target board usually comes with a set of darts. Do you like darts, boss? Not particularly, but now I owe an apology to someone. Anyway, call me if you need anything. Sh sure. Well then. Okay. I'm gonna pick random. But we do not want Neo Avatar twice. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna pick random shits that I don't know or haven't seen. Oh, we should have done re-snowfall after read that and then base of the titans after- oh my goodness. That's fine. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, I've heard this one before. This is like the opening song. Oh hey, can I have a big beer please? Thank god, a human. Sure, coming right up. It makes me- it's weird because I feel like I'm watching the beginning again. This is the beginning of the game. This is the... There's like a cinematic that plays at the beginning. And this is- it's not even really a cinematic, it's just kind of explaining the world. Uh, mixed. And it plays a song. Fuck, I thought I could catch it. I know it doesn't have to go that long, and I let it go for way too long. It just has to go for... Fuck, I messed up. <laughs> May I ask what it is you do for the dogs, Miss uh, Beatrice? But everybody calls me Betty. And why do you need to know that? If you've been with, stuck with dogs all day... You'd also be curious when a human walks in. How did I forget to make it big? It's all she asked for. Fair enough, I'm their veterinarian. And they're all your clients? Yeah, company issued vet. I mean, I have my own office, but it's in their building. So you're Betty the vet- Oh, cram it. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for puns right now. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, anything else I might need to avoid bringing up around you besides puns? Enhancements, but that's harder to shove into the conversation in the first place. Noted. What do you have against enhancements anyway? They're unnatural. They go against the very idea of human evolution. <laughs> but there's a certain wall that humans can't cross without enhancements. It's not like having something replaced will automatically make you an expert in things. If anything, getting an enhancement will set you back until you get used to it. Yeah, but it just makes things too easy on paper. Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But, you have a point, skill doesn't come, doesn't ship with enhancements. At least, not yet. Sorry for the outburst, I have uh, my story with enhancements. Oh, I don't mind. It's way more entertaining than serving drinks to do talking dogs. <sighs> Sorry. Speaking of which, that's my job right now. You want another drink? I'm fine for now. Call me if you need anything. Have you seen a red dot? I've seen many things in my life, but a red dot? Not today, no. Do you have any red drinks? Yeah. The drink might know something. R right. A red drink. 
I'm just gonna go down the line. I imagine that a bloody or a bleeding Jane. Or maybe like a maybe like a a a Delhide. You know? It's blue. So we're gonna remember number six because it has a lot of Adele head. Whoa. Ah, uh, it's not like the color red. Hmm. Isn't the sugar rush red? What what does a moon blast look like? I mean, I'm just gonna reset uh, if it's wrong. Does it look red? It looks blue. What about this? I mean, that's red enough. Here. Thanks. Okay, punk, hear me out. You're gonna tell me where that red dot went or I'll drink you. I'm not bluffing. I'll drink you all up. Damn Pomeranians, I think they can come and take our jobs. Excuse me. Thank cock bastard. We've been getting some serious media attention because the company always only hires corgis. This be a slow news day. <laughs> but you know what I say? It's good that we don't hire anyone else. We don't need any more racists ruining our workplace. Next, next thing you know, they'll be asking us to hire cats. Wouldn't other races bring new skills to the company? Shut up, what do you know? Now give me a bad touch. Man, Jill is like really obsessed with the bad touch drink. Like it was like, oh yeah, okay, the first time. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, you. I guess this is the first time really when you think about it. Here. Racist dogs. What are the odds? Wait, if I can't tell the difference with differences between them, does that make me racist too? Would it matter if you're racist against racists? Existential questions. Here. Bartender, please stop dozing off. I need booze. Sorry, where can I get you? All of a Zen star. Sure. You want a Zen star? Uh, four of each ingredient. I guess I really didn't need to look that up. I kind of know by now what a Zen Star is. I wish it was aged to, aged to. Yeah. Thank you. Something on your mind? Willing to lend an ear? It's in the job description, kind of. All right then. So. You mentioned the thing about talking dogs. I thought people throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking to animals. Never mind the fact that we could always understand their body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just furry, adorable little office workers. Actually, scratch that. I've yet to meet a furry office worker with half the charisma of these little guys. Oh, uh, little guys. You've met furry office. That's exactly what I was saying, actually. That's why I struggled to read that. I was like, wait a second, what is that? Uh, I've seen my share of the world, bartender. Sounds like you're tired. It's fleas and tick season. I am tired. So, you're ti- Don't. You. Dare. Ahem. Well, this whole free bar thing is nice, though, I guess. It would have been nicer if we actually had time to get properly ready. What do you mean? 
I found about him. I found out about the booking yesterday as I was getting ready. Did the client ask for something special, or was there something I needed to know about them? My boss didn't specify anything. Uh, all she said to me was, pretend like it's any other day. That was a screw up on our end, sorry. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find out they got a place. Why all of a sudden plans? Did they forget their anniversary or something? We found a place, but the Cardigans were the ones that hired it. Then some stupid argument arose, and the Cardigans decided that they didn't want to have any Pembrokes in that at their party. I swear to God, these dogs are like little annoying, or annoying little suburban kids. What are these Cardigans I keep hearing about? Oh, just another kind of Corgi, except with a with different fur colors and a slightly different attitude. All of this is so silly. I've seen dogs play with cats, dogs play with other dogs, and dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mimicking their owners. I mean, that's the reason they are in the bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on Pembroke's probably didn't help. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll... I have dogs to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, do your job. Don't mind me. Tortilla Pope. I feel like they just, like... Like, what's the most ridiculous names that we can give something? And they gave... They gave the dogs those names. Like, this had to be, like, a... Like... Like, the, the developers of this game had to just sit around a table and were like, Oh, I wonder... I wonder if this would be a crazy name, and then everybody laughs, and they're like, yeah, let's put that in. And then, because, <laughs> like, all the names are super crazy. That's a big sunshine cloud. I need to remember shit like that. I'm... There we go. All on the rocks and blended. One. Here. Aw, ain't you a cutie. Loopy doopy poo. Oof. You know what I hate, man? What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man. They're like lettuces that decided to go to the gym. I think they are a big deal because their leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't like them. I'm down, dog. You want <laughs> Do you want anything? You could tell that the prologue was definitely like just like a. <laughs> it was like a brainstorming session. They just put everything. A big grizzly temple. Everybody wants big shit. It was just like a powwow of different like names and jokes and stuff that they could make. Because that man dog thing is funny. Because people say both. Although I haven't said dog in forever. I never said dog. Actually. I knew people that said dog. Like, what's up, dog? You're worse than cabbages. Bartender. Yeah? You have anything sweet? Talking about drinks, right? Are you hitting on me? If that's how you want to see it. Let me see what I can get you. Make it big. Do you like them big, Miss Betty? It's not the size, but how you sell it. Gourmet food exists for that sole reason. Why are his words? See... I don't... <laughs> you like them big, Miss Betty. Um, aren't right. Uh, and mixed. It's a big sugar rush. Here. Thanks. You know, I'm curious. What's the weirdest client you've ever got? I wouldn't be able to tell you. There are many kinds of weird. Pick the first one that comes to mind. Well, there was this one guy who spent 30 minutes with 
arguing with himself before ordering. That's not weird. He came in wearing a velociraptor mask and wouldn't stop screaming. He left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh, yeah, that's weird. At least he left a nice tip. Speaking of anecdotes, uh, can I ask what's your story with enhancements? Why the interest? Because it seems like a personal thing. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. And honestly, I'm really bored. Sure, I can entertain you a bit. Back when I was a college freshman, some of my friends, or some friends of mine, decided to get their hands enhanced. It was around the time we all started practicing surgery. They all wanted to just bypass all the practice needed. And so they hired the shady character who supposedly hooked who would supposedly hook them up. I only talked one of them out of it. The others went off with the guy and got their hands chopped off. This is one of those stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah. Four girls underwent the shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, one was left with an art arthritic mess, and the last died on the operation table. So yeah, I'm not too fond of enhancements. Especially if they're taking it in an effort to avoid effort. This culture of become better automatically with enhancements really gets on my nerves. The story sounds so familiar. Did that shady guy have a bleached mustache and tattooed black eyebrows? He also talked using an Electrolynx. You've seen him? No, but I remember news about the police catching someone who was performing illegal, illegal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? Well, I guess I gotta check one of the dogs, or check on the dogs to see if they're fine. Sure, I'll keep serving them booze. Thanks for sharing that story. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, have you ever felt like time is moving too fast? Tonight I feel like it's not moving fast enough. Lucky you. What? They say if it feels like time is going by too fast, you're having a good time. What can I serve you? I want a bad touch. Jill, I will freaking slap you, girl. What the hell? Two, three, four. Um, you only, I don't know. Like, dirty jokes are always funny, I guess. But, like, is it that funny of a joke? I don't know about that. Uh, maybe you're right, thanks. Bartender. Hmm? One Brantini, please. Dog five. His name is Dog Five. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Dog Five. There we go. I mean, it's a nice change in music. Here. Excuse me. The beer mat's dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Nah, I'll leave it like that. I already ruined the Brantini anyway. What? Taking a breather? Uh, yeah. Not like I'm that busy, though. Fucking dogs. Anyway, you want anything to drink? Nah, some dogs gave me drinks already. I'm fine. Oh, alright. Say, bartender, do you like your job? I mean, you're not like the usual crop of bartenders. The kind who are always making a big show at a disco or rave party. Why does everybody keep saying that? Hmm. Hey, why are you working as a veterinarian? If you want to change the subject, you can just say so. I just did. Fine. I'm a veterinarian because I don't want to do it. Er, because if I don't want to do it, who will? Or if I don't do it... God damn it. I don't trust other vets. I don't feel like they're actually cut out for the job, so I took it upon myself to do it. That's quite the ambition. Speaking of the ambition, did you start working here because this is what you wanted to do since high school or something? 
That's a whole new can of worms I don't want to open, but no. Life took me here, basically. By the question, I thought we were exchanging life stories with each other. I was also thinking about the whole risk versus reward thing. These dogs made me an offer I'd just as I graduated. Sometimes I wonder if I'd been better off taking bigger risks. You know, the whole safe proposition versus big bet kind of deal. If you're comfortable with the opportunity you've been given, then take it. If it's something that's been bothering you for a while, scratch that itch. Well, you should be a counselor. Nah, it's just cheap advice. Well, I have to take care of the dogs. Excuse me for a bit. Actually, we're about to leave already. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you for everything. Don't worry. Thank dog. I mean, thank God. G dog gamut. Done for the day, I'm guessing? Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think of this uh, of this stunt? The health inspector is too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'll assume that he's fine with it. Right. Yo, the song is pumping. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. So I'll uh, call it a day here. Thank you for your hard work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's lots of visual novel and roguelike stuff coming along the way. Um, this is interesting, this, this little prologue thing. I'm curious to see what this last day has in store for us. Uh, and then after that last day, we're going to go on to Anna, the Anna demo. Uh, and then I think after that... Uh, we get an Anna epilogue. I don't know if we get it or not, though. It's, I don't know. Uh, I gotta end it here, though. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, whatever it may be. And uh, peace out, you guys.